This is Robert Diego. Hi, Diego. Hi, how are you? I'm good, you? This is crazy. Man. I know. This you know, I was on, I was, yeah, man. I only just came to the, the Christianity not long ago, like six months, since March oh, last welcome. time. Yeah, and you know, it's, oh, it was crazy. It was crazy, man. It, it was crazy because I felt empty whatever I was doing, you know. Like, me, myself, I don't know, but I was trying to find myself the right path. You know, find the right things. Um, I pursued money, I pursued love, you know, I pursued big things trying to fill me up and it just didn't do me good. But when, when I mean pursued and failed, I proper failed. I clashed, man. Life treated me bad. When I mean bad, um, I mean I tried to commit suicide 11 times, you know, at as early as the age of 10. Because, you know, I wasn't even happy with my sexuality back then when I was, you know, when I was growing up. And I don't try to, you know, be happy and find the true meaning of life. Because I kept asking myself, what's the point of me living and we're going to die? So what? So what was the point? I never asked to be alive. I never did. So what's my purpose? You know, it's no point of me just leaving money and leaving it behind for my next generation to take it. That's selfish. Like, they don't have to work. I had to work for it. You know? So all of these questions just keep bringing me down and down. So what happened? Yeah, I just have no motive and and you know the drugs and the alcohol and the, the you know everything just bring just to escape life i wanted to escape, escape life yeah. so until it reached that point where i couldn't do no more mm. i couldn't do no more so i was ready to go and jump in the, in the high street and commit suicide it was a motorway right there i was mm. like let me get drunk and let me yeah. just do it so all it took me was one question i honestly one question because i remember my grandma's telling me don't commit suicide or you're gonna go to hell because jesus you will not allow that so i said to myself i said i asked myself does jesus even exist i went up the hill i was drinking my, i was drinking as much and i said okay lord i'm not asking to see you but if you do exist let me feel you yeah, yeah on that moment i, I honestly felt like someone had me from the back of my back and it was pretty chilling like around this type of cold and I was wearing a very slim fleecer and my back was warm. My heart was moving from side to side. It wasn't even pumping right. It was just moving from side to side. I start crying like a baby but out of joy because I feel so much peace. So much peace. You're like, cry, you know and, and then on that moment a drill on my lips was Jesus. When I say Jesus my heart started jumping out happiness and I was like oh my God, you do like exist, you do, you do yes. exist. Yeah. So I remember sitting down there and I put my arm like that. I was like, Jesus, hug me, hug me. Don't let go of me, don't let go of me. And it was just the most exciting thing. And just to know that that... Don't blame me. <laughs> uh, so just, just to know that that's the... That, you know when you find the truth and you yeah. wanna, you feel frustrated because you wanna share it to everybody just else. But you right all along, even though you went through so much uh, struggles or just trying to get to that point, it's just like so revealing. Like oh my god, like all of this went. <laughs> when pe exactly when people feel like oh I feel empty, I feel depressed, I feel anxious, I feel, and you're like I've been there, I've been there, I know the answer. But if I tell you the answer, I don't wanna ch sound cheesy. Just know that this is the truth. Yeah. But so many people are so happy to to find different ways like tarot reading, and crystals, and that. I did all of that. I play with all of that. Light, white magic, I did all of that. Oof. Looking for looking for answers to find that is he cheating on me? Is he doing this? Oof. I'm gonna get money. And you know what? He just brought me to nothing. He it gave me a short period of answer, he gave me a short satisfaction and a la long lasting of depression and anxiety and I couldn't sleep for months and had to rely on medication. On, when I found Jesus on that day on that part, the only thing I remember was I got scared, I told him I don't want you to leave me. I don't want you to ever leave me. This feeling, I actually don't want you to leave me because I feel lonely, so lonely, you know. Back then, I feel like a lonely gay guy that I didn't know where to go. I didn't want to be with men anymore because they keep destroying them, destroying my life, honestly. I, I feel used by life. I feel like I had no meaning. I tried to be with girls. I, I couldn't fit into both categories. So I feel like a parasite. So I, all I had on that moment was Jesus. So I didn't want him to leave me because that was my only hope. What happened? I start sleeping, no more depression. I start smiling. My anxiety left. Everything left, and my exes are texting me back because I'm not even talking to them. And and every time I look at them, I'm like, you know what? I don't like men anymore. It's like, how? When did this happen? Like, I understand. When did this happen? People say to many gay people say to me like. Did you change from one moment to a, from one night to a day? I was like, no, I don't know where the sequence of the change happened. It just happened. Yeah. It's difficult to explain. It's just gradually you start seeing men in a different way and you start understanding why you was confused and where the society 
like has a lot of impact in you without realizing the TV, the media, the music I was listening to, and no one knows this. That's but why it's, everyone gets their sources from the media now. So yeah, everyone is pushed to be A or B, but there's no a C in the category. You know, you have to either be this or you have to either be that because if you know, you lose your friends. You're not cool anymore. You're gonna be more bored, and you're gonna you're be that outsider, that outsider, that odd person. And you know what? I'm happy to be that odd person now yeah, because I've got Jesus it. Christ with me, and you know, and also because I feel like I can actually smile and be happy and be myself a lot more than I did back then when I was chasing the money, when I had everything and I had everything that they had. But now I actually feel full. I'm not empty. So I don't have to smile and put the mask on and be like, yeah, bro. No, I actually feel good. Like, I don't care. So, you know, this is the, this is the happiness that I want to. I want to share to everybody and it's so hard to get the point across. Yeah. It's so difficult and God will guide me one day. But this is this is this is it. This is the point is how you spread the gospel. That's the most frustrating part because they are they are brothers, they are all brothers and sisters. You know, they are, they are, we belong to the same father and we don't wanna see them perish and you know into hellfire. And it's sad, it's sad, it's honestly sad. But you know, we will get there. Now today, you know, he's gonna, you know, Jesus. He says that in order to enter heaven, he talks about you need to be born again. Do you understand what being born again means? So, uh, do you know the requirements for being born? Uh, not really, but I remember there was like another account encounters I had, like the exact same one, like here, all the way down there, and they did it. So, so yeah, it means to have uh, to be born of water and of spirit. Today, this brother here, he, he's gonna get baptized. Yeah. We're gonna, we're, after this, we're gonna go baptize him. We're gonna get baptized uh, at the brother's location, because uh, yeah, this, yeah, this brother, he, he's he's chosen need it, to. Chosen I need to, it. You know, it's so it's so you know it's so funny. People say to me, you know, people do the opposite of what I did. They come to the family crying, crying out, oh, I'm, I'm gay, I'm gay, and then, you know, I did the opposite. I actually, I was gay, they, they knew I was gay since I was baby, and I cried to my grandma saying, why can I not be straight at the age of 10? A kid at the age of 10. People say you're born that way. Okay, you don't born that way because you don't choose to born, you don't, basically, you don't born that way, no. Because you always want to have the right sexuality for yourself, because I struggled. I felt odd, I felt different. I wanted to be normal like the kids, I wanted to have a family, I wanted to have kids, I wanted to have a normal life, but I always see that slipping off my fingertips because there was no choice for me. But I said to myself, but why can't I not be? And that was my struggle through life, hence why I tried to commit suicide so many times and tried to find a path and tried to be a Muslim. I even became a Muslim trying to find a God that would be more strict to strip me up. And I didn't know... I would try to find so many answers, so many answers to get to the most simple answer of all of them. I said Jesus Christ and just asked that very question I did on that mountain. Before I even commit suicide, do you even exist? Because that was what changed everything. Amen, brother. That's the power of God right there. <laughs> that is powerful. Yeah, powerful. Mm. Literally, we went to more upstairs. He's got the wings to prove he's got the scars. Can I say something, bro? Can I? Yeah. No, well, you're. Well, well, yeah, 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 you're about to get oh, baptized. I'm about to get baptized. I'm about to go and die and reborn again. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, Diego needs to die and hey. reborn again, bro. I'm so excited. I cannot wait, man. I oh. cannot wait. I'm going to be a new soldier to God. Amen. Man, amen. I'm going to be there, reaching out yes. every single yes. word of his. Yes. I'm, I want to be able to be the example for people, some brothers that are lost and mm. you know, through all my examples for them to relate themselves and find their way through mm. a simple little questions just like I started man and this is it. This is this is the grave. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm ready to die, huh? Bro, yeah, this is this is the last minutes of Diego before I go oh, there. No. Man, we're gonna be excited man. to meet the new Diego. Mm. Yeah, and you get to it's <laughs> gonna be an exciting journey, Diego. man. Exciting journey. I'm All not right. scared anymore, man. I just wanna dive in there and just take the Holy Spirit, man. It's gonna feel amazing. Come on, amazing, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, man. What did I, what did I do to deserve this? Honestly, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. I looked so miserable, okay. man. That's the grace of God. It's the mercy. Yes. Well, man, he saved me, man. Grace he honestly saved mercy. me. Mercy, mercy. You know, it's mercy. really touching when you think like that, but it's true. Well, 
God loves you so much, He's given you this opportunity. Man, I would have been dead. I would have been dead yeah. like six months, seven months ago. I would have been yeah. dead. I was ready. I was, I was ready. Yeah, yeah. You know when you, you know when you're mentally, mentally ready to mm. just jump into the motorway, but yeah. you're, you're not just scared. You're literally mentally ready. You, I was only just there, holding back. I only hold back because that thought of my grandma, if you kill yourself, what if you go hell because of Jesus? So that's when I asked myself, does Jesus exist? And then it changed my life in the last minute. Yes, yes. yes sir. Brother. Jesus' name. We are sad. Like an internet. That's good. You go ahead and do that. We are sad. We are sad. We are sad. We are sad. Wait, 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 wait. Is it hot? It's, yeah, it's good. It's perfect. I was scared it was going to be cold, you know. No, <laughs> you know, no. Take we it, can't do it like that. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. Trust me. There you go. Come on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Upper room golf tubs. Upper room, man. It goes down to the upper room. <laughs> <laughs> Upper room, man. That's good. Well, when you go down, I don't get up again. How do I get up again? down in the U. We'll help you up. This is like really did die. This is about to be. We're in the delivery room right now. Okay. Home on delivery room. Birthing into what, what the Lord is doing right now, man. Yeah. And God is good, man. And um, I thank the Lord for this for, for this moment right now. I thank the Lord for all that He's doing, all that He's saying, all that He's released on our time. Um, you know, it's been a very powerful time. Which remember, like I want scripture. I want to read off for you. Um, that I believe the Lord is giving me um, right now, and then I want to walk you through a prayer, man. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, so this is what it says in Colossians three one, right? It says, "If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on things on earth. For you died. When you go into water, you're dying. When you come out, you're alive in Christ." But this is telling you what your new life looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him, glory. What I'm getting right now is if you ever go through anything, anytime anything comes for you, anything at all, you feel like, man, it's like it's feeling tough right now. I'm getting read this scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure to write it down to you. Yes, but please. Go to this scripture specifically before any of the, all of the scriptures too, of course. But make sure you go to this one, Colossians 3, 1, to know who you are. And that's the biggest thing I he needs to know, always know, never forget who he is, no matter what goes on, who he actually is. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members, which are on earth, right? Our fleshly members. It says fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves, like we all once, in which you yourselves once walk when you live with them. So we once the sons of disobedience, but it's saying we don't longer that, right? But now you yourselves are to put off all these as well. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. But there is neither Greek nor Jew nor uh, uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, nor free, but Christ in all, in all, in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, for your word right now. We thank you, Amen. Lord, that uh, we know that now that we are um, in you, that we have died, that we have risen to yes. new life in you, that we no longer have to be bound by sin, we no longer have to be bound by the devil, but in you so, we have a new life. Um, so before we go forward, brother, is there anything, any questions? I'm walking through a prayer, but anything, any questions, anything you want to say, anything at all, man? No man. In Jesus' name. No man, just do it, bro. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So, so, so I'm yes, walking through prayer briefly, right? Mm -hmm. It's a quick prayer, right? Um, Lord, I'm going to walk you through. Just follow me through it, right? Lord. Okay. Lord. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this day. I thank you for grace. I thank you for grace. I thank you for mercy. I thank you for mercy. I thank you for redemption. I thank I thank you for redemption. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for Lord, your spirit. For your spirit. Which has created. Which has created a new heart within me. A new heart within me. And it's going me. to continue. And it's going to continue to create a new mind within me. To continue to create a new man within me. I know, Lord. I know, Lord. With all my sin. With all, all my sin, all the past things, all the past things that I have done, that I have done, will go down the drain will today. Go down the drain today. I know, Lord. I know, Lord. That it won't be me. That it won't be me. That will keep me strong. That will keep mm -hmm. me strong in this walk. 
in this world. But it will be you. Like it would be you. So just fill me up right now, Lord. So just fill me up right now. I need Lord. your Holy Spirit, Lord. I need your Holy Spirit to overflow Lord. within me, Lord. 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 I know it's working Lord. within me right now. It's working within me right now. But I want overflow, Lord. Overflow, Lord. Overflow. Pour it in me right now. Open me up right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. Amen. So we stand on the triune nature of God, right? The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Um, that's what we stand on, you know, the, the fullness of the Godhead, you know, um, all that we do is in Jesus' name, right? So we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, um, just for the remissions of your sins in Jesus' name right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Promise keeper, I the doctor. 